Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create an accounts payable summary uh, report in Microsoft Excel. So what we want to achieve is to create a formula that will return the status of an invoice. Okay. Um, so I have here an Excel spreadsheet uh, showing me the invoice amount, the due date, the date paid as well as the status. So let me just edit this amount over here and add in the dollar sign and also copy this fill in the blanks over here. Okay. So this is a worksheet that I created so that uh, we can, I can show you how to create this accounts payable status summary in Excel. So, so what we want is to have a summary so that we will be able to know whether the invoice has been paid. Um, is it to be paid now, already paid, or is it to be delayed? Okay, so. In, in addition to that, we will also want a status summary by using the sum uh, sum if function uh, that will sum up the values of or the amount of the uh, sales or the invoice amount according to the status of the payment. So I will be I, I am able to sum up the total amount for the paid invoices, the total amount for the uh, invoices that I am going to pay now and the total amount for the invoices that is going to be paid later on. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing that uh, I want to focus on here is the cell over here, cell E1. Okay, here I have the today function insert in this cell. Okay, so the today function is a volatile function. So what it does is it will give you the today's date. So uh, it will be it would, the result of this function will depend on the date that is in your computer system clock. So this is today's date. And when I open open up this workbook tomorrow, the date up here will be the 9th of July. Okay. So when you do an accounts payable or receivable status report, uh, you will use this as a guide for you to be able to determine the status for all of your invoices. Okay. So uh, for the status here, I'm going to use the function called is blank, the is blank function. Okay. I have the function inside here and I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. This is a function that will return a true or false. Okay. So what we want to see over here in say column C. Okay. Um, when we point to this cell, if this is blank, then we will get the uh, true. Okay, so if if it's uh, empty, it's going to return a true. Okay, so I use the formula uh, is blank, and I'm uh, what I do is I'm nesting it inside an if function. Okay. So let me show you now. Okay, let's come over here to this cell and I'm going to use the is blank function. Okay, this is the is blank function and I'm going to point this cell, complete the function and you can see that it returns true because this cell over here is empty. If I copy down this formula to this cell, it will return a false. Why? Because this cell uh, has a value in it. Okay. So now let's take a look at this function. Okay, this is the function that will return us with the status uh, for our uh, accounts payable summary. Okay, so inside here I have an if function, as you can see, and I have nested in the is blank function. And what it's going to do is it's going to point to this cell over here, column C. Okay, and, and if true, I have this function if, which is going to look at the due date, okay, and indeed, and indeed, if it's true, the due date is earlier than today's date, okay. Notice that this is cell E one, 
today's date. And I've put the dollar sign in front of this cell uh, location is because I want to apply this formula um, vertically down into the data. So if indeed the due date is earlier than today's date, I want the text to display pay, uh, pay now. Okay. Okay. You can use any text uh, that you want as long as you close it with the double quotation marks. Okay. If the value is false, which means that this, the, the data in cell C is not blank and we are going to use the paid, uh, the, uh, the, uh, I'm sorry, if the due date is later than the today's date, which means uh, we haven't paid yet, so I want the tax delay to appear, okay? This is a payment that hasn't been done, which is going to be done in, in, uh, in a few days later, you know, depending on the due date, okay? And lastly here is the value if false, okay? If there is a content here, a date here in the date uh, in the column C, um, which means uh, the payment has already been done, I want to have the text paid display, okay? So this is how uh, the formula works, okay? So uh, you can see that uh, if now I put this, I put a date inside column C, say I paid this, the due date was um, here, and I paid um, on the 22nd of June. So you can see that this changes, okay? All right. Um, you can ignore the dates over here because I haven't updated the dates. So most important is this line over here. If I remove this, okay, this status will show pay now, okay? If, uh, I put in the date, okay, let's do it again. Let's say this is due on the 21st. So let's put, I paid on the 22nd of June. And if you enter, you can see that the paid appears, okay? So this is how the function works, okay? Once again, uh, ignore the dates over here because I did not update this file uh, as when I created it, okay? So uh, let's focus on this row over here. Right, now let's take a look at the how we can get a status summary uh, for this accounts payable status, okay? Over here, we're going to use the sum if function. First of all, um, before we use the sum if function, uh, it's it's easier for us if we create name, name ranges, okay? So I've created name range for the invoice amount, for the invoice amount over here, uh, okay? Over here, I have the invoice amount and also the name range over here uh, called status, okay? So here is how the sum if function works, okay? This is the formula, sum if, and we are going to look into this range of, uh, this range called status, okay? Which is this range over here. And we're going to use the criteria over here, paid. And we're going to look for this criteria, okay, paid. And the sum range will be the invoice amount, okay? Notice that I have the dollar sign over here for this cell G4. This is because I want to lock uh, this formula in row number four, okay? So I can copy the formula across if I want to. So this is how the sum if function works, okay? We will look in the status range for the criteria paid, as you can see. And we're going to look into sum range, which is the invoice amount. And with this function, we will be able to know the how much we already paid. So, so far we already paid this amount, okay? So let's do this function again in uh, this cell over here to see the criteria for pay now. So we start with equals, type in sum, or sum if, step, 
I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control A. Okay, here we have the function arguments. So the range, we are going to use the name range uh, status. So use the keyboard shortcut F3, bring out the place name and select status. The criteria will be cell H4, okay? And then you can add uh, the dollar sign here. That you can lock row number four. And as for the sum range, once again, use uh, keyboard shortcut F3, and we will look into the invoice amount, all right? And then we're going to click OK. So we have uh, this amount to pay now, okay? And lastly, for delay, we can just copy the formula over and we can see the amount for the paid now, uh, paid and also um, delay. Okay, so then and that is how you can create an account payable summary um, by using uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay, so that will be end of this video tutorial. I will see you in the next video.